So recently I've been looking back into uh, some of the third party tools, some of the additions, some of the extra things that you can add to Guild Wars 2 to make it kind of interesting. I've been looking into YOLO Mouse. Uh, Yellow Mouse is one of those things you might have heard of before. Actually, I hear about it a lot. I sometimes watch videos from other people and they're using the damn thing. Uh, especially in World vs. World, I hear a lot of people talking about it. I hear a lot of people talking about it when it comes to World bosses. And uh, if you're wondering why, it's because it's pretty incredible for addressing one of the biggest problems that comes about from all the crazy skill effects you find in World Boss fights. So, you know that feeling, you go to fight the Fire Elemental, you go to fight the Svanesh Charmin, you go perhaps to Raid and you're fighting Sabatha or Gorsable or something. And in the middle of the fight, your brain clicks and you're like, oh god, hold on, what? And you can't see your mouse cursor. That happens all the time in Guild Wars 2. The uh, screen is so explosive with effects, and sometimes, especially if you do rely, as many of us do actually, on uh, clicking a couple of your skills or clicking on specific things to interact with them, uh, it can really slow you down. It can even cause raid wipes if you're, you know, in progression, you've been going for a long, long time. So what Yellow Mice does is something very, very simple. It makes it easier to see your mouse cursor. Uh, that on its own isn't a particularly interesting thing, but there's been a bit of a community rally recently, just over Christmas, around Yolo Mouse, making it even better than it's been before very recently. So uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about it. I, I really wouldn't do a video on something like this if it wasn't just something super simple you could put in. So one thing that you might be thinking as well, WP, uh, this is a very simple idea. What, just changing the cursor? That, surely that's not very hard. Surely, uh, you know, there, there can't be very much involved with that. How has there been a community rallying around it? Uh, well, if you think about it, actually, and this is something I think a lot of consumers don't quite realize about video games, is there's no one cursor, all right? Like, this is my cursor you're looking at right now. This is a high contrast cursor that's been made by someone that YOLO Mouse is using. But like if I mouse over this guy here, it changes, doesn't it? It changes to a speech bubble. That's a completely different icon. It's the same as if I mouse over one of these guys and I get the little green one. It's the same as if I go into my inventory and I try to resize my inventory and now it's this little diagonal thing. So it's not enough to just make one cursor necessarily. You might need to make a whole pack to get those high contrast cursors working throughout the entire game and there are a hell of a lot of different images of the game overall ends up using like you know when you start salvaging things and so on so first of all what i want to do is just show you guys how to install yellow mouse uh, it's really simple the top link in the description is the software you uh download it if you use the 32-bit operating system then you want to click that one link if you use the 64-bit one you want to click the other one uh, it will download in a second run through the installer and it will run itself. You can even down in the bottom right hand side of the task manager uh, select to have it instantly load whenever you turn on Windows and then it will always be running there and you basically never have to worry about it existing again. Uh, it will take up a slot in the task tray so you can go into Windows options to disable that as well if you really really want but that's a bit beyond the skip of the video. Uh, and then when you load into Guild Wars 2 quite simply all you have to do is press their hotkey to cycle through mouse cursors. And that hotkey is Control, Alt, and Shift all held down together. And then you just keep tapping the one key. A quick thing to clarify about 64-bit as well is that hotkey I just talked about. If you're having problems using the 64-bit client, you need to enter that hotkey on the launcher screen. You know, the bit where you enter your account name and your password. And apparently if you do it there, then it fixes it. So if you guys have any issues, there you go. I've preempted you. And that, that's the fix, supposedly. And as you'll see here, every time you tap the one key, it'll keep rotating through a bunch of really visible, really obvious cursors for you. So you can pick the one that you like. And now, forevermore, as you run around in game, this is the cursor that appears in Guild Wars 2. So now that you've got your giant glaring hot pink or whatever cursor, uh, how do you assign a new one for each individual action in the game? Well, that's up to you. By default, if you then mouse over something that would change the game to a different cursor, like if you were to mouse over an NPC, you'll see it goes back to the original Guild Wars 2 default ones. And at that point, all you then have to do is press the hotkey again, Control shift alt and then say one or two or three, and browse down to whatever else you want if you want loads of different ones. So you can see me messing around with that there. I have loads of crazy different weird styled cursors assigned to different like mouse over effects for the game. And uh, it's pretty cool, but at the same time, all right, let's, let's be real here. This, this doesn't look too good. Though it's useful, right? Though this really does resolve that problem of losing your, your cursor while you're in, uh, you know, really uh, effect-intensive stuff. It's actually 
a bit overkill, in my opinion. Especially if you go with like one of the glaring hot pink ones or something. This is a massive cursor, and Guild Wars 2, I don't know, it's kind of quite well famed for its very consistent art style across its UI with its painterly effects and so on. And, uh, you know, it's just a bit too much in one direction. So, uh, maybe if I just played the game and I didn't make videos, I wouldn't particularly care, and I'd be happy to run around with a cursor that looks a little bit like this. But, I'm not entirely happy with that. Enter Archonmeda, who, I believe that's how you would say the name, who on Reddit just a, a little while ago actually posted a full complement of Guild Wars 2 cursors that they had custom created to work with Yola Mouse and basically what you saw at the start of this video. So if you want to get those, and I definitely do, those are perfect for making videos. In fact, they're even better than the default because now you guys will be able to see my cursor without even having to go full screen, for example. Uh, you want to click the second link in the description. The, that link's going to take you to GitHub. For any of those of you like me who don't really use very much GitHub, the link to download is in the top right. It says download zip, okay? So you want to hit the uh, download uh, link in the top right. And then what you need to do is browse in that archive to the pack you like. Uh, he's actually provided two. There's one called Fat and there's one called Sharp. Archimedes' first attempt was the Fat ones, but he doesn't actually recommend them. I haven't even tried them out. You can have a look at those if you like, but I browse to the Sharp folder. And then you want to drag and drop all of those uh, cursor files into your YOLO mouse folder. The YOLO mouse folder that you find at program files forward slash YOLO mouse forward slash cursors. All right. Just like you see me do here. Once those are all in and you restart YOLO Mouse, now when you go in game and you decide to browse through your cursors, if you press Alt, Control, Shift, and then 4, which are where these new cursors are, you'll see it actually starts browsing through his packs. So there you go. You, he's got like a red one there. You know, I could run around with a red one forever if I like. Wee! But that's, you know, that, that's for if you're going to be targeting a foe. Um, and so then there you go. You can assign all of these little cursors just like that. As you move around the game, when you find, you know, the first person that you'd need to be able to talk to and you recognize, oh yeah, this is this should be a conversation bubble, then you'll just hold those hotkeys and assign everything. It can take a while to assign all of that stuff, but that's the idea of Yola Mouse, that over a period of time of playing the game, eventually you realize, right, this is what I want this cursor for, this is what I want this cursor for, and you slowly build it up into a good place. However, I'm a very lazy man, and you would be hard-pressed to get me to do that uh, so even better than this there is even uh, another step you can go to if you like if you want everything by default set up So you don't even have to do that last little bit where you play the game and you manually select all the cursors on the actual reddit thread from the other day um, Archimedia did actually post a block of text which when you copy and paste into the right place on your PC It automatically does everything for you So if you fancy doing this extra step, which I do recommend all you have to do is uh, as you can see I'm doing on screen right now first you need to browse to your users app data you need to show hidden folders if, if they're not already there by default and then YOLO mouse and in there you'll see that there's a settings file specifically for Guild Wars 2 right if you've already ran it in Guild Wars 2 it will be there you want to open that up and you'll see that by default there's only a couple of lines of text there that's what you've already assigned you want to delete what's already in that notepad use the third link in the description and copy paste that big old scary looking block of text into the notepad hit save and then when you next go in game it's all done. It's all defaulted. It's all ready. It's all good to go. And uh, it's pretty cool. So you actually, you guys might see me doing this for the rest of my videos. It can feel a bit weird to get used to because like the hot spot of where exactly you want to click to see things sometimes is, feels a little off. But I got used to it pretty quickly. And, uh, and yeah, that's basically it. It's kind of just improved the cursors for the game, if you will. And uh, that's pretty cool. Another thing as a little bit of a bonus, uh, maybe you guys would like to do this. Uh, I've actually got some of it set up here. There is another link, right? Uh, Tesserine, years ago, three years ago, made a cursor pack using Guild Wars 2 beta cursors. I'm a sucker for the Guild Wars 2 betas. I'm a sucker for those old demo clients and those uh, old, you know, alpha builds that we used to be able to play. I really, really like those. I get very nostalgic about them. If you guys remember back then, the game had a very different aesthetic, had a very different user interface um, and different designs for a lot of things, and that includes cursors. Anyway, so all that time ago, what Tesserine had done was take screenshots of loads of different images of the game, crop out the cursors, and then made a Windows cursor pack. So this has nothing to do with YOLO mouse, but what they actually did was uh, they create this pack where you could install these cursors, and while you're actually just, you know, browsing the internet or, or just using your PC for generic tasks completely unrelated to Guild Wars 2, you'd get the Guild Wars 2 cursors. So for example, you click a hyperlink and it's got the little conversation box icon there for you, if you like, or whatever. Um, now, because they did that, we can actually take those icons and use them in YOLO mouse, if you like. So if you guys have a look here, 
as I browse through. Uh, what I what you can now see on screen these right world versus world link these are actually the cursors that were made all that back all that time ago and What you're now looking at on screen. This is the original made from a screenshot original original cursor for Guild Wars 2 It's kind of funny um, You could mess around with it if you like I was quite excited about the idea But actually in imp implementation didn't seem to work too well But if you want to bring that old Guild Wars 2 betas style like design back the old cursors That's actually a possibility for you but, uh, and uh, the link for that is down there in the, the third block as well in the description below. But yeah, there you go, guys. That's Yolo Mouse. If you ever see a video from someone and they've got a different cursor, if you wonder in my future videos why my cursor may have changed, it's because of that software. It's very, very, very simple. You can be done with it in like five minutes. Uh, do check out the comments if you have any issues with the installation or any weird things like that. I'm sure people will be more than happy to assist you. And uh, until next time, guys, I will see you for another video tomorrow. I do have a lot of other cool ideas. I'm also looking at Guild Wars 2 Multi. A few other things, and again, that that awesome Guild Wars 1 tool as well, which is like a really interesting DPS meter for that game. But anyway, yeah, thanks guys. Hope you uh, learned a little something today. Hope you had a bit of fun. I'll see you tomorrow for another video.